There once was a guy. <laughs> and he made some ribs. Today we are doing slow smoked ribs. Hi guys, today we are here in the Hudson Valley in Lake Tekanic and we are making some ribs today. I got about nine pounds of ribs, nine pounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spice it. I got my special dry rub blend, but I also have a barbecue seasoning, which we got from the commissary, which is this barbecue joint in Germantown, Tennessee, right outside of Memphis and see how that goes. We'll make one rack with my spice, another rack with the commentary spice, and we're gonna contrast and compare, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. It's not a competition, but I think I made mine super spicy, so I think I'm gonna air to this one if this is too spicy when I eat it. But let's cut it up. Get Jared and Chad chilling. So I got my bare bones thingamajiggy, my bare bones grill, it's a really cool grill, uh, check them out, bare bones. I got some moist wood in there, so that's going to not burn, it's going to smoke, so we're going to put the ribs in here, we're going to cover it up, then I got a fire going on underneath, and it is heating this uh, kind of oven up, it's all cast iron, so this whole thing will heat up, the wood will heat up but because of the moisture it'll smoke as well so what we'll do is we'll smoke the ribs for a couple hours I imagine it's going to be somewhere around 158 to 200 degrees then when that is all nice and tender we are going to take it off this and then grill it on right above the fire to char it let's go it's fighting me one There's three racks in here. Let's go. So with dry rub, you want to do it really 
be very generous with the dry rub. So, oh, this smells really good. Smell you guys. Nom, 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 nom. So when you're doing uh, dry rub meats and you have all these spices, especially the spice, uh, some of the spicy stuff, you want to use gloves. Number one, if you have any peppers that are really spicy, hey, you're going to burn yourself. Also, all the stuff stains. You might get stained fingers. If you like that kind of thing, go for it. But if you don't, wear gloves. You want to look for food grade gloves too, because you don't want like the rubber. Um, some of the rubber gloves out there have like a powder in it that might not be edible. Not good for consumption. Like. There are a lot of good places, spice places out there. You can get pre-made rubs. Now, if you're short on time and something quick and easy, go for it. Right, so we're gonna use some of this, but that's good. Tap it, tap, tap, double tap, double tap, guys. This one I'm gonna spice with my blend, and it's a mix of smoked paprika, chipotle. Pepper, salt, and habanero pepper as well. So two types of peppers, habanero and chipotle. So this is going to be a little bit on the spicy side. What I'm going to do too is I got this suka, which is vinegar in the Philippines. And this is actually a vinegar derived from the coconuts and it's spiced with some spicy stuff too. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna open this up and we are just gonna kind of lightly rub this into the pork as well. Good thing about vinegars is it'll tenderize meat. So we're gonna put that in here too. over to the fire. Let's go. Smoking it. So it's really small but we're gonna stack it and we're just gonna rotate it. slow cooking for a good probably three hours. We got the fire going again. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna cook it right on the
right, you guys, I got everything off the smoker. Now I'm just cooking everything over the fire just to make, give it a nice outside crust. These are the two, the big pieces are the ones with my spices on it. What we're gonna do is when they're just about done, we're gonna throw some maple syrup on there. Then these are the ones with the pre-made spices from commissary. And we're gonna use commissary barbecue sauce, throw them on top of there. Give us two styles of ribs, two styles of yumminess. Casters over there in the wings, ready to be our uh, test eater. <laughs> so we could thank we could thank him for the upkeep of the fires to be able to cook this lovely, lovely camp dinner. My dry rub, this is commissary. Wow. Let me know when action. There you go. All right, guys. <laughs> My sentiments exactly, kids. <laughs> Which one was that? That was the commissary. It's gonna rain. Clouds rolled. Are you recording? Yeah. It's kind of dark. The clouds rolled in, but we're gonna try this other one. This is the one with my dry spices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. We're gonna sign off because we're gonna try to escape this rain. Hopefully, it doesn't come down. So, thanks for watching you guys guys I give this a thumbs up make sure you give the video a thumbs up click subscribe because I'm going to subscribe to the rest of this uh, ribs and you guys can subscribe to the rest of my videos Patreon all that stuff all that jazz but thanks guys bye Alright you guys, we're sitting here, it's raining pretty hard, but that don't stop us from eating. We are dogging these ribs on the 
you see the gang. Yum. Boneyard. This is all part of the adventure. Sometimes you get some um, amazing sunny days, and you get some amazing rainy days. And nonetheless, it's beautiful. You just gotta decide that it's part of Mother Nature, it's part of the circle of life, and you just deal with it instead of crying about it. So, we're not crying about it, we are just gonna.